Hi, this is Belinda and welcome to Renovate, the show where we help needy families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. Constantly battling obstacles in an old rundown flat. Last time when I didn't fall, I used to open the door, I somehow hang my clothing outside, you know. After that, I cannot because the back door curbs is so high. For the single elderly woman, simple tasks like cleaning and maintenance has become increasingly difficult. I don't want ceiling uh -huh. fan. You have to stand and uh, clean. Go, uh, clean. Big. So I scared when I stand, uh, I will go to fall backwards. Oh. Right. Undaunted by her polio condition, 68-year-old Judy had been able to overcome her mobility issue and lead a relatively independent life. However, after suffering a fall in 2017, she has been increasingly reliant on her wheelchair and finds it hard to get around in her own home. How can Renovate help improve conditions in her flat? Judy had been working at the assembly line in an electronics factory for years until she had a bad fall in 2014 and had to leave the company. Unable to find work, she struggles to survive on her CPF payout. In order to get by, Judy relies on the money she gets from renting out the spare room. However, her tenant has moved out within the last year and she has trouble finding tenants given the economic climate. Pests are also an issue. I'm really scared those cat, rats, all this I don't like. You see those rats, uh, they will run from the drain, you know. Terrible. <laughs> Got one time there's a rat. Midnight I wake up to the toilet. <gasps> Got one jump up. Then I know where the rat came in. Uh. He, he ran out to the door, back door, you know. So I used the clock quickly to block it. Judy may be short of cash, but never of ideas. She would improvise on the things that she has to create handy knickknacks, like these makeshift clothes lines to hang her clothes when she doesn't have enough wardrobe space. She tries to scrimp and save as much as she can. I don't like hear lights on, that lights. With the electric, I honestly, I quite safe. You know. In which room, I will on, but daytime, I don't on lights. Though the flat is sparsely furnished, Judy finds it hard going to keep it clean. She worries that she won't be able to maintain the condition of her home anymore. I like more big space. For me, I'm lazy. I clean this and that. Then I find that if you more things, you have to do more cleaning. When you are getting old, your heart you want to do, but you don't have the... Uh, you, you sing wuli. I used to walk and clean, sweep and mop. I don't like to sit on wheelchair, but now I cannot. I mean, you stand too long, but supper on one leg. You don't have that strength. Relying on her calipers is not an option anymore. Calipers is quite heavy. When you become more and more old, you will become more and more weak. Before I fell down at uh, 2014, I still with calipers. Until later on, I 2017, I another four fell down. That is when I bent my leg. My polio one, this leg after operation, I cannot bend right at the back, so I cannot fall. That time onwards, I wouldn't dare to wear calipers because I'm very careless. I've forgotten to lock it. Meals for Judy have become a simple affair. Fearful of falling again from an oily floor, Judy has chosen to boil or steam food. But the threat of falling still looms large. With curbs leading to every area of the flat, Judy also struggles to move around on her wheelchair. Sometimes she has to get up on her feet to go from room to room. 
Last time when I didn't fall, I used to open the door, I somehow hang my clothing outside, you know. After that, I cannot because the back door curbs is so high. Despite the challenges, Judy is reluctant to move from the flat she has called home for the past 50 odd years. Hopefully, getting rid of the curbs in Judy's home won't be too much of a challenge for our renovate designer. Calvin? Yes, I'm Calvin. Uh, nice to meet you. Coming to our aid is Calvin Lee. Though a relatively young designer, he has a few years of experience designing residences. Hello, Auntie Judy. Hi. This is my designer, Calvin. Hello. Well, Madam Judy, I have not even stepped into your house. I already see a lot of interesting things. The first time I learned to motorized wheelchair, okay. I keep on knocking and knocking under the two whole piece come out. So I use plaster to... <laughs> Why you must one. put this one? Because of the rat. Yeah. This one can turn? Can Cannot. Oh, <laughs> spoil already. Though it may be well kept, the condition of the flat is still worrying. The original fixtures look worn down. The plumbing. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, I think it's the original also, right? Original should be copper. Yeah, I see uh, a lot of the ceiling yeah. is peeling off a lot. Wow, the peeling is, wow. Yeah, it's a bit... Like uh, the face mask has been put on yeah. their faces for so long, 40 over years. I think the face mask dry up already. <laughs> started to peel. Yeah. You see, it's really all over the, the, the ceiling, huh? <sighs> Wow. Uh, kitchen is worse. You have <laughs> not renovated this house. Uh, we did renovate only floor, oh. kitchen, then the toilet. Can I check with you? Is it all the socket plug and the switch too high for you? Last time I can walk, okay. Okay. But actually, it's quite high. So even at home, uh, do you use the wheelchair a lot? Are you able to stand up? Walk, I weren't there. Nowadays, I'm really scared of falling down. Okay, okay. I fell so many times, so normally I have a wheelchair. Right. Just only if I want to reach the plug, then I stand up. Why did you choose to park all your furniture to the, to the side for of the wall? For me, easy to move around. Judy needs space for her physiotherapy exercises at home, so perhaps a minimalistic decor is in order keeping in mind that she also needs a place to charge her bulky electric wheelchairs. It's this one like... is a fan. Yeah, yeah. I can tell I it's a fan. Them, I don't want ceiling uh -huh. fan. You mm. have to stand and uh, clean. Go, uh, clean. So I scared when I stand, uh, I will go to fall backwards. Oh. Right. Right. So it's quite dangerous all the fans. for me. Although ceiling fan is going to help uh, ventilate the, yeah, the house, yeah, but so. she can't afford to have yeah, that at this point. Because she, height, I mean, yeah. You cannot always ask my family to come down. They have their family own. as well. Yeah, huh? family. I see. So, last time I used daring, you know, I dare to stand up and clean the cabinet okay, myself. Okay, okay. Yeah, her house is very interesting, you know. Everything that is from waist down is very clean. Anything from the waist up, <laughs> dusty. Is it all the socket plug and the switch too high for you? Walk, I weren't there. Nowadays, I'm really scared of falling down. Okay, okay. I fell so many times, so normally I have a wheelchair. Right. Just only if I want to reach the plug, then I stand up. Let's go into the guest okay. room, shall we? There's a cup here, actually. So... Yeah, there's a cup. The common bedroom is quite bare with just the basic necessities for a tenant. I oh, try to the hospital case. don't put anything. Why? And for my cleaning, no need to be so tired myself. Okay. <laughs> At first, I thought that uh, this room, if never ran out, still can design some of the storage area for the mm. wheelchair. The curbs at the bedrooms may not be more than three centimeters in height, but they pose a huge obstacle for Judy. Okay, you want to come in? Yeah. How, how you come in? Uh? Can I? Yeah, come in like that. Oh. Oh, she was in I think the biggest problem for Madam Judy right now are the curbs. For us, it's just a minor curb, no big deal. But for her, it's a very big step and it's dangerous. And to hear that she keeps falling again and again, it worries me a lot. You see all the floor? Yes. Yeah. What is this? Oh no, how come you, how come go, you have oh, all these holes? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's floor. because you know we are ground floor. And, and actually below mm. there's water. Okay. Yeah, when you take out all this, uh, inside uh, actually all wet. Uh, no. Ventilation is quite poor 
as Judy keeps the windows closed for privacy. No you like Tweety Bird? Why you like Tweety Bird? No, not only Tweety Bird. All the cartoons. Those cartoon cute, cute okay. one. Can I open? What, what do you keep in, in there? The books, this one is uh, my clothes, ah, wardrobe. Ah, okay. Are they and still this, working? Still working? Actually, not say no working. Uh, you see, all like oh, that already. Wow. This, this one? one I put it myself. This one you put hang my clothes. Take go across like that. Then hang. We're very so innovative. I also noticed that you've got this ramp. It looks like it's makeshift. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. oh okay, okay. So I put just a book. It's a, that, something like that, that long table. Yeah. So I myself, I go and cut it. What? Auntie Judy is a very creative person. With the different solutions that she has managed to find to make her life easier at home. I noticed that when it comes to people of her generation, they really don't depend on the experts, you know, the carpenters, the contractors to help them find solutions. Okay, let's check out the kitchen, kitchen. shall we? Whoa! Yeah. This is such a retro-looking kitchen. I feel like I've stepped back in time. You're using electrical? One, yeah, electrical. Normally, when you're cooking, you're sitting in the No, wood. no, no. I have to you stand. Were... But she cannot stand very, very oh, long. Right. Yeah. The kitchen is small, but it has everything Judy needs. But the counter height is something that Calvin needs to look into. Last so, time I used daring, you know, I dare to stand up and clean the cabinet okay, myself. Okay. I don't even dare to think now. Yeah, her house is very interesting, you know. Everything that is uh, from the from the waist down uh, is very clean, you know. Anything from the waist up, <laughs> dusty. Maintenance also is a big challenge for her. Here is the ground floor, so a lot of dust will fly in. I have to design the solution to cover it, to prevent all the dust in so that she not every day will... Not, don't need every day to clean out the house, maybe twice a week. This one broken? Already, yeah, and the then, whole thing come out already. And then, okay. Then I use this one to block, to block like that. Someone have yeah. designed, must be crisscrossed. Ah. Ah. I use super glue to glue, you know. What is this? A bit of leaking. So I put a tissue, then I didn't go and remove it. Everything is peeling, everything is falling apart. Yeah. This house is falling apart. The fixtures in the main bathroom have accumulated dust over the years and the toilet bowl can't be flushed. So Judy uses a smaller toilet at the back of the extended kitchen. Wow, there's more curbs, huh? The back of the flat is where Judy is supposed to dispose of her trash. But because of the high curbs, there is no convenient way for her to get rid of her rubbish. If you do a ramp, right, what is the concern? Is this thing cannot be covered? Yeah. Oh, that's a drainage, right? Correct. Oh, dear. Yeah. She doesn't have a rubbish chute at, in the house, so I don't know how she's going to go out to throw her rubbish. It's Calvin's first time designing a home for the physically disabled, so we've got help from Handicaps Welfare Association. They have arranged for an occupational therapist to help assess Judy's flat. This way, Judy can be assured that a new design is suited for her lifestyle and needs. I can't wait to see what solutions Kelvin has to address Judy's problems. So this area, right, I will change to a non-suspender TV console for mm -hmm. her. I will use the drawer system, so it's more convenient for Megan Judy. In fact, the window in the front, I will change it to a sliding window with simple horizontal grill, mm -hmm. so it's easier for her to do the cleaning. I like how Kelvin is keeping things flushed to the side, but I disagree with some of his design elements. I see that you have a sofa here. Uh, yeah, yes. um, okay. I have a concern with mm. the sofa because okay. I remember uh, Auntie Judy was saying that she actually wants the whole house to be very, very minimalistic. Okay. Yeah, it's not the most practical oh. thing for her because she doesn't sit on the sofa. Okay. Only her visitors, they sit on mm. the sofa. So I was just thinking, since this is not her priority, okay. are we able to shift things around in the living room mm. to make way for the two um, wheelchairs? Mm. Since Judy likes to keep things clean, I was thinking it may be better for the wheelchairs to be parked closer to the entrance. At least, she won't track mud or dirt when she wheels into the flat. But according to Kelvin, this is a spot that the therapist recommended, so we should listen to the experts. 
I like the whole, you know, lemonade okay. column. It's, yeah. it's very, it's very chic. Mm -hmm. It's very contemporary and warm at the same yeah. time. Calvin will be using vinyl flooring for the dry areas of the flat as it is easy to maintain. Uh, we would suggest to propose using a darker colour. So and these uh, scratches, all these will not be so obvious. Oh, is it? I thought the lighter it is, the less obvious it is. So it's not true, huh? There will be scratches because she is in and out with a wheelchair. Thank you so much, Auntie Judy, for helping us. Because you're so organised, you have packed everything for us. That's why you really, really made our job so, so easy. And guess what? At the end of the clearing out, guess what one of our volunteers found? She doesn't have a rubbish chute in the house, so I don't know how she's going to go out to throw her rubbish. If you do a ram, right, what is the concern? Is this thing cannot be covered. Yeah. Oh, that's a drainage, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. The new design of Judy's flat will see a reconfiguration of the kitchen with cabinets installed on the opposite side from where they are now. The basin is just next to the entrance of the toilet. So it's very squeezy. Yes. That's why I planned the sink to this side. From here, she cook ready. She can wash out. Yeah, that's why I planned for a small cooker hot for her. Okay. So at least have more table stock space for her to put the capital, preparation, preparation mm. cutting, mm -hmm, all this. Mm -hmm. I think Judy will be happy with this new layout, with the countertop extended by another meter or so. What I also find appealing is the feature wall Kelvin will be creating at the kitchen counter area with the hexagonal wall tiles. So actually, I use this tool is mm. so that when I go to the kitchen, it's like, wow, the feel is like big, the, very big. Mm. I can see that Kelvin has put a lot of attention on the design details, like this false wall in the master bedroom. It not only looks good, but serves a practical function as well. The false wall, right, she can put like items like handphone oh. or uh, alarm clock. If she sit on the, the bed, right, mm. on the right side, it's got a table, right, the wheelchair will keep knocking the table there. My concern, right, is sometimes at night, if Madam Judy wake up, eh, want to go toilet, mm. wash, all this, it's too dark. She can't right? see. Yeah, mm. so it's a switch here, then she can on it, then she can go out safely. Power sockets and two-way switches will also be built into the false wall for Judy's convenience. I noticed she like to take out the plug. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that she likes to take out. It's like it's like my mum or my auntie, they will usually take out the plug. For her house, I implement one control switch at the here to off it when she go up to the bedroom. It's also assuring to know that Calvin will be levelling the entire floor of the flat as much as he can. He has been consulting with Judy's occupational therapist at every step of the way and even incorporating some of my suggestions. Hello, Hello, good morning. Good morning. So, Auntie Judy, how are you feeling today? So warm, so tired. <laughs> These three weeks, I slowly pack. Oh, you mean you've been packing everything by yourself? Yeah. Some things you have to do it yourself. Right? Oh. I see a lot of uh, boxes in this particular room. What are they meant for? To the store. You yeah. push all the boxes into the room one by one? Uh, yeah, I try to arrange it there. Then yeah. I might get too heavy for them. It's okay, we, we are wow. also Wonder Woman. Wow. Superman, <laughs> uh, all, all can. Though Judy doesn't have many belongings, it is still a humongous feat for her to get everything sorted for us. So, it's up to our volunteers to do the heavy lifting. Good news, guys. I have just visited Auntie Judy and she's all packed and ready for us to help her move out of her flat. This has to be the most organized move out I've ever seen. So, Team Renovate, are you guys ready to get to work? Yeah! Let's go! To expedite the move out, we have Judy waiting out of harm's way as our volunteers hustle to get things packed and ready. This is Auntie Judy's mama. Beautiful, right? Yeah. 
I think Auntie Judy. It's, it's really amazing. Like, there's a lot of curves, but she really has like the willpower to like maneuver around the house in her wheelchair and stuff, and even like packing the boxes for us. Yeah, there's always a lesson that you can learn. So for me, I think what I've learned today is like like I'm I'm able. I have I can walk. I can run, and I should I should be able to do what I want to do. Yeah. Well, like for her, she's on a wheelchair, but she don't limit herself. She does a lot of things. Just when I think we are done and ready to go, one of our volunteers has stumbled upon something precious. <laughs> we have clearing, finished clearing the house in under half an hour. Thank you so much, Andy Judy, for helping us. Because you're so organized, you have packed everything for us. That's why you really, really made our job so, so easy. At the end of the clearing out, guess what one of our volunteers found? Ta -da! Ang pao. See? Wow. See how much? I lost it. See how much? Two hundred dollars, are you see? Yeah, since he found uh, fifty dollars for you, uh, okay. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. Now this is extra two hundred dollars for you. So oh. please keep it well. You can okay. go stay at a hotel and go makan. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Given that Judy will be travelling in her wheelchair, the Handicaps Welfare Association has arranged for special transport to bring her to the hotel. I'll come visit you at the hotel and okay, we'll, okay, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll go out, OK? Much. See you there. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. So now, our professional movers can swoop in to get her items to storage. What transformation can we expect to see in Judy's home? Once I got side with the therapist, yeah. that one will still be the shower. Kevin, you know why I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm having this expression, right? Yeah, Kevin, yeah. like, who wants to do business here, go uh. shower there? I know coming up with new ideas in the middle of renovation is not ideal, but I'm not sure if the current layout will work. Can Kelvin find an alternative solution within the next two weeks? 